I'm going to show you how to create this sloping floor here. So that's the ground and it's sloping. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. And you might have a sloping garden um, and you might want to sort of simulate that in your model. <coughs> this is how you do it. There we go. I open up a new Sweet Home 3D and I'm just going to create a wall like this. And the wall is going to be about the length of my garden, which is about 26 meters, for example. Now I'm going to modify that wall. I'm just going to right click it, modify walls. And I'm going to make the thickness about 20 meters, like that. There we go. Let's zoom out slightly. I'm now going to make a uh, modify it again to double click it. I'm going to make it a sloping wall. One side is going to be one, and the other side I'm going to make 10 example that's that's good I'm also well let's have a look at that in the 3d view uh, we can see that that didn't really affect make an effect let's do that again one sloping wall height at one is 10 <laughs> I think 100 will be better there we go you can see it's a big slope there now it's also going to just change the color of that to make it look a little bit more like grass. Okay, there we go. That's a grassy color. Now, that's not ready yet. I've got to get that uh, model and do 3D view, export, obj, and I'm going to call it sloping garden. Sloping garden, save, export, uh, export all. It's good enough. Let's delete that. Furniture. Import furniture. Choose model. Sloping garden. Open. Continue. Looks good. Continue. I can add it to the catalog and I'll add it to the MISC section. Continue and finish. And there we go, there's my sloping garden, which is not, the, the system won't treat it as a wall now, so this is actually a bit better. <coughs> for my green screen. I'm going to fix that up right now. That's better. Okay, now I have a, an object for my ground, I can proceed to add a house like normal. There we go. There we go. That, sh that is not really joined there. Let me just join that up. Turn off the visibility of the sloping garden for a sec. I can see. Okay, let's put the garden visibility back on, and we can see that there's a there is a slight angle there. But I can also make that angle higher by changing this setting here, like so. Let's just say I want it to be really steep. That's good. This base here, this uh, wall I just built, I'm going to treat it as a, a a brick foundation. I'm just going to turn off visibility for a sec. Uh, select, select all the wall parts by holding down shift, double click, oh, double click, oh, it didn't work. Hold down shift, right click and press modify walls. I'm just going to change their t sides to a texture and I'm going to use small red bricks there and small red bricks here okay there we go that looks like bricks let's put the ground back on yeah, it's starting to look good now i'm going to create a new level add a level for level one oh, i'm just going to turn off the garden again so i can see the outline uh, 
walls. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. And double click. Very good. Let's just add a floor. Double click. Excellent. Let's turn the visibility on on the garden. Yeah. Now you're not. The reason why I can't see the walls here is because Sweet Home 3D wasn't really designed to do this. I just figured out a way that you could do it. Anyway, let's just turn the visibility off and add a few bits and pieces to the house, like a like a bunk bed, a bed, a chair, a stool, uh, a door frame. Good enough. A door at the back. A a triangle window, a half round window. It's not a very nice house. And some stairs, uh, like the one I did at the start. Actually, I think I put that in the wrong level. I did, so let's just delete that, go back to level zero, put the stairs in. Let's just uh, view all levels so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, very good. Let's make the stairs a bit wider. Put the ground back on, sloping garden. And there we go. That is the basically a bit like the model I started with at the video. I started with the video video. So the trick was create a wall, make it really, really wide, and save it as uh, export it to an OBJ and then re-import it again. Excellent. Like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.